Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is just kind of playing around, but it would be pretty cool to be engraved or even printed, I guess. We're gonna, I've used the word love and hope. I'm gonna use hope again, just all caps. And then just type it out, make it whatever size you want, and then go up to object and break it apart. We're gonna take the P and the E and put it below. And I'm not worried about getting it centered or whatever yet, because we can take each individual letter and, and grab them and hit L on the keyboard, R on the keyboard, and that way they put them to the right and the left. Now I'm gonna left click and right click, and then I'm gonna group these guys together. I gotta group them together to make the contour tool work. We're gonna contour to the outside with rounded corners, point one, and you could change that 25 times. Pretty cool effect. And you could play around with the intensity and, you know, uh, this one actually looked pretty good. There, there are some bigger spots. But then what you need to do is you need to go to object, break the contour part, object, and group them together. And I'm gonna hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then I'm gonna draw a rectangle. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. Well. Zoom in first, oh, come on. Let's get rid of that rectangle. Take the rectangle tool and just kind of go around an outline of that and then hit P, put it in the center of the page. And what that's gonna do is get, get rid of some of this uh, humpty stuff on the bottom. And then just select all of it and go to intersect. That's a pretty cool effect and you can change the thickness of the pen by double clicking on the outline and let's make it two points. Let's make it three points. That's pretty cool. Now we do have some void spots, you know, like right in here, but you could play around with it enough. And then that looks pretty cool. Or let's do two different ways you could do this. Let's hit plus on our keyboard and make a copy of this. You could one, take your smart fill tool and fill in your letters. R, let's move this, I, I don't like being right on the page line. You could take the Smart Fill tool and let's zoom in. Take the Smart Fill tool and Smart Fill some of these lines in. It did it all the way around. And then of course you'd wanna do some on the inside of the O and I'm not taking my time to, you know, that's a, I don't know what you would ever use that for, um, be a, but it'd be a pretty cool effect. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.